Hi guys, welcome back. So we're still busy installing PostgreSQL and you should see this dialog pop up after the installation has completed and then it will ask you if you want to launch Stack Builder. Um, we leave it checked, meaning yes, and then we click on finish and then this dialog will pop up. So we'll select PostgreSQL 11 and then next. So now we wait until Stack Builder gives us a list of options which we can download and install. So this might take a while, I'm not sure. We shall see. Okay, and then just say yes. Okay, then finally, um, the list of extensions has been displayed. So now we click on this drop down. So we check on PG Agent and then we go to Database Drivers and then we can select PG. ODBC just in case um, and then maybe if we want to use spatial extensions we can select that as well okay so that should be fine actually I don't think we even need spatial extensions at this stage so we can just leave the ODBC driver as well as PG agent and then next and we should just verify that these are the two extensions that we will be installing and then next again and then next and this dialog should pop up telling us that it will install PG agent so yes next say next okay and now we select a password for our a default password for our PostgreSQL database server so mine will just be simple it will be postgres as in the username just for simplicity and then next Um, just say yes, upgrade, whatever. And then the password will be Postgres again. Postgres. And then next. Okay, next.
Okay, so once that is done, we click on finish. So the agent just manages some back-end processes for our PostgreSQL database server. And then we should see another dialog pop up for PostgreSQL ODBC. So this is the driver that applications use to connect to PostgreSQL. So just in case we need this, um, that's why I selected it in stack folder so that we have it on our PC. Okay, next. Next next okay so that is done so now we click on finish and then we can click on finish to close a stack folder so once that is done we should now have PostgreSQL installed on our machine so the next thing that we need to do now is verify that by opening up the um, data, database administration tool for PostgreSQL. So it's called uh, PG Admin. Click on that. Okay, then we get prompted for a password. Hopefully it will remember PostgreSQL. Click on OK. We try again. Sorry, it was Postgres, not PostgreSQL. Okay. And then we click on the drop down. And we should see um, a drop down here called databases, right? We click on that and then we right click and then create database. So now we're going to create the database for our application, which is a simple process. Um, we will just say, we will call it Quake, right? That's the name of our database for our application. To make it simple, the owner is Postgres and the password is also Postgres to make things simple. And then click on save. Okay, great. So now we have our Quake database. So if there's anything else that you might want to view or monitor is dashboard. They have a dashboard where you can monitor when queries are being run on your database or tables, you'll be able to see it in some of these graphs. Okay, so thanks a lot for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video.